very good question, and it's, you know, there, there is no formula that applies across all industries uh, or businesses. Uh, if you take something like return on equity, uh, you know, if you pay way too much for the business that you buy, the person who runs it is going to get a lousy return on your equity. They may get a good return on the tangible assets employed in the business, but your purchase price may defeat them in terms of earning good returns. Uh, if you based it re on earnings on tangible equity, uh, you know, there are businesses uh, like a network television station where, you know, if you have an idiot nephew, you can put them in charge and they'll earn huge returns on equity as long as they manage to stay away from the office. Uh, so it's, and there are other businesses where you have to be a genius uh, to earn seven or eight percent returns on equities. So there is no single yardstick. To have a fair compensation system, both you and the manager have to really understand the economics of the business. In some businesses, the amount of capital employed is all important. In some businesses, the amount of capital employed doesn't mean anything. So we have certain businesses where we have charges for capital and all of that, and where we have other businesses where that would just be an exercise to go through and it wouldn't really change any results anyway. We, we have a great preference for making them simple. I mean, we concentrate on the variables that count to us, and, and then we try to put that against the backdrop of the competitive nature or the economic, the, the true economics of the business they're in, and really reward where they're adding value, even if that value is from a very low base in a lousy business, and, and we make it the base very high if they're in a very easy business. Uh, and it, it hasn't been a problem, but I would say it would have been an enormous problem if we brought in some compensation consultants, because they would have wanted something that would spread across the whole group and it would have had all kinds of variables and they particularly would have wanted something that they would have had to come in every year and redo in some ways so that they would have had a continuing stream of income. Um, you know, if I, if, if I knew what kind of a business you were, were looking at, uh, it, it, it's easier to talk about what kind of a system uh, to have. Um, if you had a group of television stations, just to pick an example. Let's say they were network television stations, all of a reasonable size. You, know, you would probably figure that a chimpanzee could run the place and have 35% pre-tax margins, and you might want to pay for performance above some number like that. But there's, it's silly to have something that starts at 10% or 15% when you do that, and a lousy manager will always suggest an arrangement like that. Charlie and I have seen all kinds of compensation arrangements where basically you get paid for showing up, but they try to make it look by, by constructing some mathematics around it like, like you really had to achieve something. Uh, but in the end, if you get a great manager, you want to pay him very well. You know, we, we've got great managers, for example, at a place like Mid-American, and somebody mentioned that there's a, there's a big carrot out, them, out there for them if they achieve the results that we've set out. And, and that will be a check I'll be very happy to write. Charlie? Yeah, if you want to read one book that will demonstrate really shrewd compensation systems in a whole chain of small businesses, read the autobiography of Les Swab, who had a bunch of tire shops, has a bunch of tire shops all over the uh, Northwest. and. Uh, he made a huge fortune in one of the world's really difficult businesses by having shrewd systems, and he can tell you a lot better than we can. Yeah, and he worked that out himself. I mean, it, it's an interesting book, and, you know, selling tires, how do you make any money doing that? And uh, Hundreds of millions selling tires. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and people like Sam Walton, I mean, it, the compensation system, I will guarantee you, at, at uh, at uh, Walmart or Charlie's involved in Costco, they're going to be rational because you had very rational people running them, and and they wanted they wanted to get the best they wanted to attract good managers and they wanted to get the best out of them, and uh, they had no use in paying for mediocrity, uh, and that but that does require a knowledge of the business. I mean, you don't want to let if, if you don't understand a business, you don't 
you're going to have a problem with both the manager and the consultant in terms of getting flim-flammed uh, on how you pay people.